Now let's see internal nodes. An internal node can have children between p by 2 and p. Now how to decide this p? We shall see with an example how to find out uh, the value of p. But assume that already we have found out the maximum number of children that can be present for any node. Then under that assumption, the minimum number of children are also computed this way, p by 2 and p. Now if you remember this, we have also found out that the minimum number of children in a root is 2 but coming to the internal node it should at least have p by 2 got it so once we find out p then we can find out what is the minimum number of children right if it is not going to have these many children we generally don't keep that node right at least you should supposed to have p by 2 and similarly even a root is supposed to have at least two children if it is not going to have two children then there is no need of uh, you know uh, the root so the reason then we call it uh, no as a single node and if the tree is so small then there is no need of tree at all got it okay anyway we shall see all those points later and the next one is internal node can have keys between p by 2 minus 1 and p minus 1 so what is the difference between the number of uh, what is the relation between number of children and the keys it can have is if you observe this the internal node is arranged like this there is a pointer and there is a key pointer pair and again there is a pointer and there is a key pointer pair so if you look at the structure of the internal node it looks something like this even the root node also looks something like this you are going to have a point a key and then a pointer associated with this right and to the left of it again there will be a pointer which will be pointing to a children right and again there will be a key value pair and again there will be a key value pair like this you are going to have key value pairs and between every key value pair you are going to have a pointer to the children now if you observe this the relation between the number of key value pairs and the number of children is the number of children is equal to number of key value pairs plus one got it therefore the number of keys present here this one this is the key right the number of keys present here will be number of children minus one got it at any point in time that is why even the minimum and maximum numbers will also differ by one so the internal node can have keys between p by 2 minus 1 and p minus 1 the meaning is uh, you know we are subtracting one from here the reason is the children is always going to be greater compared to this key value pairs right now what are these key value pairs so this key is what you are searching for and this pointer is pointer which is pointing to the either the data or the record which is containing this particular key right and what about these these are pointing to the uh, nodes of the tree right so if you have to understand it even better you can think of it this way let us say you have an index file <coughs> and now index file is completely divided into many blocks is at the root level and then you have the next level right and then you have the root so this is the leaf level and the internal node level and then you have the leaf uh, at the root right so now coming to the data file it may contain many number of attributes right but coming to the index file it is also always going to contain two attributes what is the key and what is the pointer to that got it now you are going to you are supposed to have in multi-level indexing you are supposed to have key value pairs like this coming to this b trees what happens is all these key value pairs are actually distributed over this entire uh, you know tree in such a way that uh, you know you are going to have key value pair here key value pair here these are actually the index records only whatever you are seeing here they are actually index records themselves coming to the multi-level indexing we are only going to point to the next level index right but here you are going to point to the next level index which means this one as well as you are also going to have a key value pair which is going to point to the directly data file got it okay now internal notes is arranged like this with example i'll explain it even in a better way we shall wait till then okay now let's examine the leaf node a leaf node can have keys between p by 2 minus 1 and p minus 1 so here we are not going to talk about the children the reason we don't talk about the children is a leaf node is not supposed to have any children got it so once you calculate the p the number of uh, you know child maximum number of children that can be present then the the number of keys it can have is p minus 2 and p by 2 minus 1 so if you observe this these numbers are exactly same as that of the internal nodes right and we don't talk about the children here and also one more important point here is in b trees 
the leaves are at all at the same uh, level so which means the distance from the root to the leaf to any leaf is always going to be same so how do we maintain that property i'll show you with examples so whenever you know we generally don't go increasing the levels in b trees as you see in uh, you know binary trees so i'll sh i'll show it later and the next one is let's take an example here if you have already computed that p equal to 5 based on the size of the node and the size of the record you know and the size of the key all these things if you have already computed that the maximum number of children that can be present is 5 then these are the various questions you can answer so coming to the root what is the minimum number of keys it can have we already know that the minimum number of children a root can have is 2 how can it have 2 if you have a key value pair in a root and left side you have a child and right side you have a child in this case you are going to have the number of keys the minimum number of keys as one right and what is the maximum number of keys we know that the maximum number of children are five how is maximum number of children five possible when you have you know key key value pair these uh, key and pointer pairs as four right got it so what i mean to say is if you are going to have key value pair key value pair key value pair key value pair four then only i can have one two three four five right five children there so therefore if you are having five children then the minimum number of keys present is you know four and coming to the internal node so internal node you have to compute p by 2 minus 1 so both both are having the same number p by 2 minus 1 and p by 2 minus 1 if you try to find out p by 2 minus 1 with a seal in p by 2 then you are going to get 3 minus 1 which is 2 and 2 here right and the maximum number of uh, keys is uh, if you are going to take the number of keys uh, then the maximum number of keys possible is you have to look at this one p minus 1 and p minus 1 right so which means 5 minus 1 and 5 minus 1 got it so we shall see how to get p see given p you are going to get everything right but now with an example we shall see how to get this number p then we will you will understand how to get all these numbers okay fine if you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I will give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which, which means without any security now you can get education loan getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee the amount of uh, fee that you have you have a range of uh, universities you can apply for 10 lakh universities 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities but whatever it is you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you getting it after you get a job and then we do visa assistance mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni so now you might ask why we should join game of visas so the answer is we have 90 percent success rate 99 percent success rate and these are all the destinations that we guide the students to so we guide students to any country that you want to go 
So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number nine four nine four triple five four five four. Okay, thank you.